the land that nourishes and provides sanctuary for all life. Jite refers to standing on this very land. The progress line of Jite Pumse that represents the initiate that stands firmly on land to train Taekwondo is the Korean vow O. Oh. We will now take a look at the key moves of Jite Pumse. Jite Pumse consists of three moves, namely Sonnar Orgulmaki, Gumgang Jirigi, and Mejumok Yop Pyochok Jigi, Anparmok Bakkanmaki. We will now take a closer look at each of the key moves of Jite Pumse. Sonnar Orgulmaki is, as the name suggests, a technique to block the face upwards with both arms. Cross the arms so the blocking arm is outside to block the face. The hand of the blocking arm rises first. Raise the hand first at face elevation and snap the elbow upward to block. Pull the opposite fist to the back and cross the hand blade with the center line. The space between the blocking arm and forehead should be about one fist. Tilt the arm so that the fist faces upward and the elbow faces downward. Be careful not to let the elbow of the blocking arm open backwards as this will weaken the arm. The elbow must not raise first to block. Be careful not to let the blocking arm rise above the head. Gumgang Jirugi is a technique to block and attack simultaneously with Orgulmaki and Jirugi. Mejumok Yop Pyojok Jigi is a technique to strike the target at the side of the body at philtrum elevation with the hammer fist while spinning the torso. The elbow of the part striking the target must face downward. The hammer fist must not spin and strike the target like anmaki. Anparmok bakadmaki is a technique used to perform bakadmaki with the anparmok. Cross both arms in front of the chest and block inside out. These are the four key moves of Jite Pumse. We will now look at the moves in succession, connecting each move. The key moves of Jite first part consist of Wen Anparmok Pakatmaki, Orun Orgulmaki, and Wen Jirigi. Orun Anparmok Pakatmaki, Wen Orgulmaki. And Orin Jirigi. When Aremaki. When Sonar Orgulmaki. Orin Apchagi. 
and Orin Sonna Godoro Aremaki. Slowly block the face by raising the fist diagonally from the right back. Then slowly perform Wen Jirigi. The arm that blocked the face should move as if you're pulling an opponent. Achieve balance in the speed and force of the pulling arm and the thrusting arm. Lower the elbow of the arm that blocked the face and slowly cross the middle with the fist that performed the thrust, exerting force in the lower abdomen. All moves and breathing must coincide during this process. When performing Oren Anparmok Bakatmaki in the previous move, push off the ground with the right foot from the Oren Apgubi posture and move your center to the left foot. Create a central axis on the left, turn right using the left ball as an axis, then perform Wen Duikubi Anparmok Bakatmaki. When performing Wen Sonar Orgumaki, move your center back and assume the Sonar Orgumaki posture. Bend the foot that performed Aptagi and connect to Sonar Godoromaki. Cautions for Jite first part. Taking a closer look. When connecting Orgurmaki and Jirigi, the thrusting arm should not move excessively forward. Be careful not to let the stride become too long when setting your foot with Apgubi. During Oren Anparmok Bakatmaki, do not move your center forward and back. Then perform a 180-degree Doradiki. The direction of the elbows should not move forward. When connecting Aptagi and Sona Godoromaki, the foot performing Aptagi must not raise above the head. We will now practice the moves of Jite first part in succession while watching the video. The key moves of Jite second part consist of Oren Pakatmaki. Wen Aptagi and Wen Sonar Godoro Aremaki. Wen Orgurmaki. Oren Gumgang Apchirigi. Wen Anmaki and Oren Godoro Anmaki, Wen Sonar Aremaki, and Oren Aptagi, and Double Jirigi. Perform Bakatmaki slowly, exerting force on the lower abdomen. Then block by crossing your left wrist and right wrist in front of your chest. The lower body must stand firm when performing the move. When performing Gumgang Apjirigi, Raise the left arm that blocked the face to chest elevation. Then quickly block the face upward again and connect with Apjirigi at the same time. Perform Momtong Anmaki with the left arm that performed Orgurmaki. Pull the other fist back. Then successfully pull the left arm and perform Oren Godoro Anmaki. The left fist should be placed next to the right elbow. Connect the two moves quickly and pay attention to your breathing. Pull and set your right foot back and perform Wen Sonar Aremaki. When pulling and setting the foot, make sure to move the central axis along with the right foot. After performing Oren Aptagi, bend and withdraw the knee. Then complete Oren Jirigi when the heel of the right foot touches the ground. Then, quickly connect to Wen Jirigi. Cautions for Jite second part. Taking a closer look. When performing Pakatmaki, execute slowly and do not exert force. 
When performing gumgang apjirigi, the arm blocking the face should not move excessively below the chest. It is important to connect anmaki and godoro anmaki naturally. After performing oren aptagi, do not connect to oren when double jirigi, after the entire right foot touches the ground. The double jirigi must follow after the right heel touches the ground. We will now practice the moves of Jite second part in succession while watching the video. The key moves of Jite third part consist of Huang Somaki, Wen Palmok Are Yopmaki, Oren Sonar Yopmaki, Wen Mejumok Pyojok Chigi, Hattari Are Yopmaki, Chagen Dojokui, Oren Yopchagi, and Wen Are Yopmaki, Chagen Dojokui. Wen, Yopchagi, and Oren Jirigi. And Oren Jirigi. When performing Wen Palmok Are Yopmaki, your eyes should point in the direction of the blocking arm. When performing Wen Mechumok Pyochok Jigi, create a target by raising the right arm that performed Sonna Yopmaki to Filtrum Elevation. Then twist your torso to the right and perform Mejumok Pyochok Chigi with a shout. <laughs> Bend your arm so that the target and your elbow turn facing each other. Then perform Mejumok Pyochok Chigi on the palm of your right hand. When performing Hakdari Are Yopmaki, pull your right foot to your left knee and perform Are Yopmaki at the same time. Assume the Chagan Doljokui posture by pulling only the fist to the left waist without change in elevation. When performing Oren Yopchagi and Wen Are Yopmaki, quickly pull the left foot to the right knee the moment the right foot performs Jichigi on the ground. Quickly change the direction of the eyes, then block. Cautions for Jite third part. Taking a closer look. When performing Wen Palmok Are Yopmaki, your eyes should not be directed forward. Your eyes should not be directed forward during Sona Yopmaki either. When Mejumok Pyochok Chigi should not be performed like Anmaki with the hammer fist spinning. When assuming the Chagun Dojokui posture, the left knee must not straighten. When performing Oren Yopchagi and Wen Are Yopmaki, do not switch feet while jumping or pull the left foot with the right foot set. We will now practice the moves of Jite third part in succession while watching the video. The key moves of Jite fourth part consist of Wen Sona Godoro Aremaki, Oren Sona Godoro Maki, Oren Sona Godoro Aremaki, and Wen Sona Godoro Maki. When connecting Sona Godoro Aremaki and Sona Godoro Maki, set your foot from Dwikubi to Dwikubi or perform Doradiki. The central axis and the foot must spin simultaneously. The same elevation must be maintained at a constant level. 
Precautions for Jite Fourth Part. Taking a closer look. When connecting two moves, do not spin your central axis after moving your foot. The trajectory of the foot should not draw an arc when performing doratiki. We will now practice the moves of Jite Fourth Part in succession while watching the video. This concludes the training for Jite Pumse. We will take another look at all the moves and master Pumse. We have looked at the key moves of Jite Pumse and provided thorough explanations for each move and things to watch out for. Man set his foot on land, the sanctuary of life. Continue with your training, always keeping in mind the meaning of Jite, the spirit of the will to live and the land which is our sanctuary. We will see you again in the Chongguan Pumse video. Thanks for watching.